Hello! In this video, I will show you the easiest way to download and install WeDo 2.0 programming app on a laptop with Windows 10 operating system. If you are ready, let's begin. First, we need to download the installer. And for that, we need to go to the official LEGO Education website. So open your favorite internet browser and go to education.lego.com. Now, this is how the website looks like right now, okay? And from here, there is, of course, a lot of information on this website. So there are two ways that you can go about finding the installer. You can either click right here and type into search bar something like um, we the software and search or you can scroll down to the bottom of this page and right here in resources you will find download software let's go there Right here, you can see several downloads available for different kinds of set. So find a Lego Video 2.0, it's right here. So let's select it. And right here on this website, you can download the software directly, okay? So select here your operating system. I'm using Windows 10, so of course I will select Windows 10. And as you scroll down, you can see uh, system requirements. If you are not sure if your device meets them, you can, of course, open this, uh, compare it with your device. And if you are sure, simply download the installer. You can also go to Windows Store and download it from there if you click Get the App button. I will download the installer. Now, depending on your internet connection, uh, this download may take a while, but don't worry, just be patient. All right, the download is complete. So now it's time to activate the installer. I will simply click on this file here, uh, but of course you can find this file most probably in your downloads file in the Explorer. Okay, now of course to install this, of course I need to agree. Mm -hmm. I'm going to install the English version and of course before continuing remember that you need to read uh, and accept the agreement. Now of course I already know it so I don't need to go through it uh, line by line, so I'll click next. Mm -hmm. Here you can select the location for the app. Mm -hmm. And yes, I want a desktop shortcut. So after you select and adjust those options if needed, simply click install. All right, the installation is complete. So now let's launch WeDo 2.0 and see how this app looks like. All right, now the app is activating. Mm -hmm. Here, once again, we need to agree to the end user license agreement. I know it, so I will click OK. And right here you can see this short introduction in several steps. You can go through it if you want to, but I will just close it uh, by using this button in the top right corner. And this is the lobby of We Do 2.0 programming app. Now, if you click right here on your first project, you will go through a sort of tutorial for beginners to, well, uh, get you more familiarized with the We Do 2.0 app. However, right now I just want to check if everything is installed correctly and if I can connect this app to my smart hub. So I will just click on a new project right here. 
This is how the programming area in WeDo 2.0 app looks like. As you can see, there is a lot of things going on here, but for the purpose of this video, let's go straight to connectivity. To connect your smart hub to this software, you need to open this blue Bluetooth tab in the top right corner. If you have this option grayed out or unavailable, this means most probably that your Bluetooth is turned off on your device. To quickly fix this, press your Windows key and go right here. Here you will see whether your Bluetooth is turned on and or off. To quickly change this, you just need to click here to turn it off and to turn it on back again. Now let's return to WeDo 2.0 and connect the Smart Hub. I have mine right here, okay? And remember that in order to connect your Smart Hub to WeDo 2.0 software, you need to have charged batteries inside. Without them, there is no way this will work. Now let's open this tab I told you about. Okay, here you will be, uh, you will, you should be able to see your device, but right now there is nothing there because the smart hub is not activated yet. To activate it, simply press this button in the middle for just a moment until the light starts flashing. Then select your smart hub from the list and wait for the connection to be established. It may take a couple of seconds, but ultimately you should see thumbs up, which means that the connection is established. This means that I can go back to the programming area. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, this Bluetooth icon in the top right changed to green. And this means that the connection is there. And uh, now give me a couple of seconds to test if this connection actually means that I can control other electronic elements by means of this smart hub. I'll be back with a simple robot and program to test it out. Right above my head, you can see this horse robot I created for this video. And right here in the programming area, you can see this very, very simple program which should activate the motor, thus allowing me to check if the connection is really there. Let's activate it. Okay. To stop the program, simply click on this red button. Okay, let's try it once again. Okay, the horse is galloping. This means that the connection is established and everything works as it should. This means that I can keep on programming and expanding this program into something much, much more interesting. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and easy to follow. Now, if you would like to create this robot on your own, head to robocamp.eu. In the meantime, I hope you will have fun coding, building, and playing with robotics. Thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day. Bye!